subscribe button subscribe button I don't really like telling people to subscribe they should do it on their own <laughs> my name is Sherry and if you're new here welcome to my channel da -da 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 -da. this is the Huyer essential high coverage cream foundation it has hyaluronic acid tripeptide complex it's matte and oil free um, if you're interested in finding out more about this first impression review test subscribe and stay tuned it's very rare it is very 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 rare that you can buy one thing on a website and get free shipping and they shipped quick I ordered on a Thursday shipped Friday I received it on a Monday it is now Wednesday and I'm recording this so here we are I'm really excited to try this out I love the packaging first thing first It's very classic I put it next to my perfumes I don't know if anybody follows me on Instagram but if you don't um, I'll list my Instagram below but um, it's really pretty it's like a bronzy silvery goldish package and it's very simple it's got their logo uh, so it's 20 milliliters, which is 0.68 fluid ounces. So you don't even get a whole fluid ounce, which was kind of worrisome for me because I feel like um, once you start going up to almost $40, I feel like the least you can do is give a girl $40 uh, uh, an ounce, but that's just my beefing tip. What it says is that it's a... Supreme coverage, lightweight, and long-wearing essential high-coverage cream foundation creates an impeccable airbrush matte finish instantly. Simply smooth a small amount of concentrated formula onto the skin with Huyer Essential Precision Brush Foundation Brush and Buff to reveal your perfect complexion. Um, it says it has chamomile extract, cucumber extract, hyaluronic acid, tripeptide complex, and it's paraben-free, it's matte, it's oil-free, and it's dermatolog dermatologist tested. So that's a winner for me. It's also not tested on animals, and it's got a 24-month uh, expiration date on it. So those are pretty interesting things. I'm mostly excited for the fact that it's got chamomile and that it's got hyaluronic acid. If you don't know, hyaluronic acid takes the moisture from the air and basically applies it to your skin. And chamomile is very soothing on your skin. So I feel like this might be um, an oily girl, acne prone uh, person's dream. Just gonna split the face down and buff here and pack here. So let's get to it. All right, let's open this bitch up. Okay, I got the color cinnamon. Ooh, so cute. So they package it very well. So there's like a protector here. Wait, does this come up? Cool. Oh, it just comes, okay. It just pops out like this, okay. Wow, this is a really small ball. Serompio? No, okay, cool. Um, so this is the package. Um, it says to shake well. I got the color cinnamon. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let's roll these sleeves up. Oh, it's hair pump. So exciting. Took prime with um, this luminizer. Pours no more from Dr. Brandt. You know how much I love this. You know, for a second, I stopped wearing it because I re-fell in love with... Uh, my max strobe cream that is my baby to get me looking like oh, like i look like a candy coated raindrop when i wear that all right so i'm just putting this here sparingly i moisturize with um some cetaphil today because my skin's just been like really funny i feel like it looks good but there's always room for improvement i just finally got rid of some of these acne period pimples so my skin's doing a lot i didn't want to like pack on a lot today I am going somewhere so if this foundation is a mess you're gonna hear it from me three four ooh bitch that's light I feel like it's gonna oxidize though all right ooh whoops I think I have to move quick I just have this feeling I have to move quick all right let's go in with the brush first um Ooh. It doesn't smell, it smells kind of funny. Um, it's very light. It's looking like my concealer right now. But I have this feeling it's gonna oxidize. And you know, the color of your foundation in the bottle versus the color of the foundation um, 
once it dries, not thinking about oxidization, is different too. So sometimes foundations look like they are not supposed to match, but they look so my first impression is is that it is very liquidy and a little bit goes a long way um i'm liking using this brush with it it's giving me um the only thing it's giving me a cast and i <laughs> my goodness i look like if you guys watch atlanta i look like uh Ter perry i look like um was his name Terry Perkins? Yeah, Terry Perkins right now. Jesus Christ. But it's got a good coverage. Like, let's get into that. I feel like this is gonna oxidize. So I wanna be positive because I look like Terry Perkins. I kinda look like Michael Jackson, but he made good music and we're gonna just roll with it. Did follow the guy that they had and that's probably why, this doesn't remind me of Cinnamon though. Oh God, I look like two different people right now. I look like Face Off that movie. Too much water. Um, the sponge is not doing that great. I think it's because I just had too much water in it. So I'm going to put another pump. Okay. I'm take another pump. And let's see if maybe that will make it better. The sponge is not really giving me life the way I want, but... We will see. Damn, I look like... This is no good. This is no good. It smells funny, but I feel like it eventually goes away. It might be all the like, clean ingredients they have in there, so... I love the coverage. It's so light. I feel like I literally have nothing on my face. This is strange. This is really a bummer, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work one because I have literally two different places I need to be today. I think my biggest thing is that there's a little bit of a pink tone to it. And it's got a little bit of a gray. Let's get up closer. It's got a, bit of a little bit of a gray. Let's compare it to my neck. My neck is very yellow. I know I've got some spots here, but sometimes when I move the camera around the lighting. What do you guys think? Do you feel like this is a dub? Sound off in the comments if you think this is dub means that this is a no 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 a no go. Um, the foundation has fully oxidized, but I'm probably going to have to bronze and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do now is just do the rest of my makeup off camera. And then I'm probably just going to do the rest of my makeup and then come check in later. And I'll probably add in some natural lighting because, I, like I said earlier, that I will be going outside. And you guys can get a full impression. So, so this is what the foundation looks like in natural lighting outside. Let's see how this day goes because it didn't oxidize at all. But I did bronze and this is the rest of my makeup, so. my last update i gave you one like around probably 1 30 you'll see the timestamp below in that previous video or previous clip but um i got a lot of compliments on my foundation today just actually just on my skin it did eventually oxidize and work very well with i'm sorry i'm kind of sweaty i just got home from a sunday riley event which i'll post some clips 
so much fun. I literally got all this makeup. I do love the foundation. I may have powdered a, a little bit too much, but overall, the foundation stayed in place. I do like it, but I feel like I have the wrong color. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next. But if you're concerned about the color, just make sure that you know exactly what you're looking for. I feel like this is an oily combination, acne prone girls dream come true foundation. One pump, two pumps goes a long way. But other than that, I've got a lot of comp like a lot of compliments on my skin today. My skin felt good, nothing felt heavy. Um my makeup lasted all fucking day. I touched up maybe once, but that's just a personal preference of mine. Julia, Julia, figure shit out. And until next time, bye.